welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today I have a fun tutorial for you. I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little zipper pouches. I have this nice kind of flat one. These are great for keeping knitting needles, scissors, things like that. I also did a boxy version for you just so you could kind of see the difference, but they're both basically the same tutorial. We only need a couple supplies for this. It couldn't be easier. Let's go ahead and get started. Supplies are super easy. You're just going to need some fusible um, fleece. You could also use quilt batting or interfacing. Totally up to you. You're going to need some fabric for the outside, some fabric for the lining and then a couple of smaller pieces exact cutting measurements are going to be in the description box below this video so just click the show more link and you'll also need a zipper I did a 16 inch zipper I just like to have my zippers a little larger than what I need but you can probably get away with a 12 to 14 to 16 inch whatever you have on hand you're also going to need some basic sewing supplies and that's pretty much it so the first thing we're going to do is adhere our fusible fleece to our outside piece and one side has bumpy um, pieces on it the other side is nice and smooth the side with the bumps is the side with the adhesive on it. So you just want to layer that on the back side of the outside fabric, the wrong side, and just adhere it according to manufacturer instructions. Most of them you just use a dry hot iron and just set it in place for about five to 10 seconds and then move it around. I've already adhered mine and I even actually kind of pasted together a couple pieces because I didn't have a piece large enough. So you can kind of make scraps work for these projects, which I think is great. The next thing we're going to do is prepare our little side tabs and these are optional, but I think they're kind of cute. So I just took my little square piece of fabric and pressed in two of the sides by one quarter of an inch and then folded that in half again and pressed it again. And I'm just going to take this over to the sewing machine and run a stitch down this side and this side. It just kind of gives it a decorated um, finish and it helps hold everything in place and then I'm gonna leave these two shorter ends raw and I'm gonna do that to both of my tabs Alright, we're gonna go ahead and start assembling. So I'm going to take my zipper and the zipper pull is considered kind of the right side of the zipper. So I'm going to lay my zipper so that the zipper pull is pointing down or towards my fabric. We're just going to line it up right here along this top edge. And then I'm gonna take one of my pieces of lining and do the same with that. So line that up. And then I'm just gonna throw a couple wonder clips along this top edge. And then you can use a zipper foot if you like. I'm just gonna use my quarter inch foot, but I'm going to sew as closely as possible to my zipper teeth right along this top edge. Now here's kind of what it's looking like. I'm going to take this over to the ironing board and just press all of this fabric back and run a top stitch right along this top edge just to finish it off. So here is our finished piece here. So now we're going to lay it with the backing right side up, and then we're just gonna fold this zipper back up along this top edge. Kind of just hold that in place. And then we're gonna take our other piece of lining right side down and line that up as well along there. Again, I'm gonna add a couple of wonder clips, and then I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine and sew along this top edge. All right, and then kind of the same as before, but this time I'm going to take my zipper and unzip it and just get it out of the way. And again, I'm gonna take this over to my ironing board, press this all back, and then run a top stitch right along this edge. Now this is where the longer zipper comes in handy. If you've used a shorter zipper, you might just have to do a little finagling to get this top stitch on the second side. Okay, we should have something that looks kind of something like this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take this zipper and close it just part of the way, just to kind of get it out of our way. And then we're gonna fold it so our lining pieces are touching each other. So like this. And then I'm just gonna sew, um, leaving about a, I don't know, four or so inch opening down here. I'm gonna sew right along this bottom edge just to close up our lining, but don't sew up the sides. Okay, we should be having something that looks like this now. You've got a hole in your lining and then the zipper in the center. Now I've just gone and stuck a pin in my open side of my zipper just to kind of hold it together for this part. Makes it a little bit easier. But basically what you're gonna do now is fold the outside so that it is folded in half but with the, zen the zipper in the middle. If you need to figure out where the half is, you can put fold it, just crease it with your fingers, put a pin there, whatever works, um, but just line up that center spot with the center of your zipper. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the lining. And the lining's easier because you've got this seam 
So just line up that center seam with the center of the zipper. So it should be kind of looking like that. Then we're gonna take one of our little tabs and fold it in half. And with the raw sides pointing um, towards the outside of your bag, I'm just gonna stuff it down in here, right lining up with the zipper, like so. And I'm just trying to center it on the zipper there. So the fold is pointing down inside your bag and the raw edges are pointing here towards the top. And I'm just gonna stick a wonder clip there to kind of hold all that in place. And then probably one on this side to hold all this in place. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, we're just laying everything down and taking our little tab, again, folding it in half with the folded towards the middle of the bag and the raw edge towards the outside. I'm just gonna tuck it right in here right in line with my zipper, line up those raw edges, and then just wonder clip everything together. And then we're gonna take this over to our sewing machine and we're gonna sew down this side and this side, making sure that we get all of our layers in. All right, now we can just trim off our excess zipper. And then now we're gonna go ahead and turn our bag right side out. And so it's gonna to have to come through the lining and through this zipper. And I'm just gonna use my little uh, Hera marker tool here to kind of poke out my corners of my bag just to make sure everything's nice and poked out. Everything looks pretty good. And then all we need to do is kind of pull our lining back out a little bit. I'm gonna press these opening edges in by about a quarter of an inch and I just like to finger press them and then I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine and just sew this opening closed. All right, that's all nice and closed up and we're basically done. If you want to leave it like this, you can. Nice little cute flat notion pouch. This is perfect for embroidery scissors, knitting needles, um, stitching supplies and things like that. But we're also going to take it one step farther and box the corners of this bag. All right, so to box these bottoms, we're just going to open this back up and we're gonna turn this whole thing inside out. So we're gonna just take one of these corners, make sure it's pushed out nice, all the material inside is nice and kind of flat and smooth. And you're just going to pinch it in half like this so that you have kind of this little taco shape, okay? And you're just gonna make a mark on here. Just decide how big you want your boxy bottom to be. I'm obviously only gonna do, I think I'll just do like maybe down to a half an inch marker on here. So I'm lining my diagonal 45 degree line up with the 45 degree line that I've created here. And this point, which is about the half an inch point with the point of my fabric. And I'm just gonna draw a line right across there and then stick a wonder clip on there. And I'm gonna do that to all four corners. So whatever size you pick, just do that same size on all of them. All right, so here's kind of what our corners are gonna look like right now. Now I just take this over to my machine and just sew right along this pin line with a straight stitch. Then I'll clip off the tip of the corner here so that I have about a quarter of an inch away from that line, uh, my stitch line and the line that I drew. And then I'm gonna use my zigzag stitch and just zigzag close that. That way it kind of gives this raw edge a little bit more of a finish and then it's gonna be inside of our bag so we won't even see it. It also gives it a little bit more sturdiness. All right, so here's what our little zigzagged edges kind of look like. Not a big deal. Now we're just gonna go ahead and poke those in back inside our bag. They'll give those corners a little bit of stability. And here you can see our cute little boxy corners. And that's it. 
So that's it. As you can see, this is a really fast and easy project. I like to keep things like knitting needles in this flat one and my little embroidery scissors. That way they're safe in my bag, but I always know where to find them. You can also put things like embroidery, um, stitching if you're a cross stitcher, all those little kind of tiny supplies that you need somewhere to keep organized. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fast and easy project. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe. That way I know to keep making fun projects like this for you. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Bye.